find the difference quotient of this linear function, and later on I will give you guys more examples. Here we go. First, we have to remember that the difference quotient is f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. And you might see some other people might use x right here, right here. Mm, that's okay too. All right, here we go. We are going to first figure out this part, f of a plus h, which is just that you put the a plus h into this x. So we get 3 times a plus h, and then plus 17. So this right here is just the first part. And then minus, the second part is f of a, which we put the a in here, so we will just have 3a plus 17. And all this is divided by h. And now we just have to simplify this and then continue from there. So the representatives doesn't matter, there's nothing there, right? So we just distribute the 3. So it gets 3a plus 3h plus 17. And then distribute the negative, so we get negative 3a and then minus 17. And all divided by h. And now we see 3a minus 3a cancel. 17 minus 17, bye bye. And we have just 3h over h. Right here, you can also cancel this h and i h. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. And here's a small tip. Whenever we are doing the difference quotient, notice that we have the h on the bottom. This h will always get cancelled out. So just trust me for that. And then it did happen right here. But be really careful with the water. Make sure you collect light terms first. And then if you have the h, then sometimes you might have to factor and cancel it out. But all in all, the answer is just a 3. So that's it. So for the first part, we are going to just have a plus h into this x. So we get a plus h to the third power minus f of a is just a in there. So we have a to the third power and all divided by h. If you take a look on the top, hmm, this looks like a difference of two cubes and maybe you want to factor it. Uh, it's factorable with the difference of two cubes formula, but I would recommend you guys just to multiply it out and collect that terms. I think that will be easier because you still have to square this when you are doing the difference of two cube formula, right? So anyway, though, here we go. We have the third power. So remember the coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. And if you need more help with the expansion for like a third or fourth power, you can check out my other video for it. Here, I will show you guys. We start with A. And then raise that to a third power, the coefficient is 1. And then we add the coefficient is 3. And then the a will be going to the second power. Power goes down by 1. But h will be the first power. Continue. Plus, again, 3. 1, 3, 3. Right? And then a to the first, h to the second. And lastly, 1. And no a and h to the third power. And in fact, this right here, it's just for a plus h to the third power, right? That's the expansion for it. Minus, and here we have just a to the third power, so that's actually very nice. Just a to the third power. Yeah, just minus a to the third power, already done like this. And of course, we have the h on the bottom. And now, take a look. Here, this a to the third power and this a to the third power, they cancel. And this time, though, we have a lot more stuff going on, right? But notice, everybody has at least an h, so we can factor that out. Remember, when we do the difference quotient, this h will always get cancelled. So if you take a look, factor on the h on the top, here we get 3a squared plus h to the first power here, so we have 3ah and then lastly h squared and all divided by this h. And as I promised, this and that cancel. And we just get 3a squared plus 3ah plus h squared. And with that, we are done. So for this, we put a plus h into here. So we are looking at square root of a plus h minus square root of a and all divided by h. OK, now what do we do next, right? Well, remember, whenever we do difference quotient like this, the h on the bottom will get cancelled. And this is how we can make that happen here. When we have a square root situation, we are going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate. And that is, 
We keep this and keep that. So square root of a plus h and square root of a. By the middle, this is a minus, which make that a positive. Just do the opposite. And this is the count you get for that. And whatever you do on the top, do it on the same, on the bottom, right? Square root of a plus h plus square root of a. Yeah. And in fact, for the top, it's actually pretty easy to multiply the out because we can use the idea of the difference of two squares. And that is when we have a minus b times a plus b. Oops. This right here, it's nicely equal to a squared minus b squared here. It fits in right here. So all we have to do is the following. Have a look. I just have to square the first term, which is that, but square or square root, they just cancel, right? So we'll just have a plus h here. And then we minus square the second, which is just going to be a. So we have that a here. And for the bottom, let me tell you, we are waiting for the h to be canceled. So do not distribute the h, just leave it as how it is. So let me write down h times square root a plus h plus square root of a. Now we see this a and that a cancel, and on the top we have this h. Yes, that h over that, that will get canceled. And let me just write it down right here for you guys. After we cancel the a, we have the h over h times square root of a plus h plus square root of a. This step is kind of optional, but I just wanted to make it more clear for you guys. You could have cancelled this h and that h right here already, but now you can see more clearly this and that cancel. We have a 1 on the top though. So finally, it's 1 over that square root of a plus h plus square root of a. And with that, we are done.